Good morning. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I hope you're okay. Hope you're having a nice, smooth Monday, wherever you are currently in the world. Over here, I'm just getting started with a bit of Outer, wi uh, outer Wilds, even. And, um, yeah, welcome back. No, seriously, I hope you had a nice weekend, all of you. Uh, one second. Also, this game is bad for my waistline. I've eaten two whole packets of marshmallows. It's insidious, I, I swear. This game is sponsored by Big Marshmallow. Anyway, so, yes, uh, what's going on? So before I get started with the game properly, please know that on the bullshittery front, I'll be starting the next project today. I've already moved the footage over uh, for the next bullshittery, which will be Divinity Part 3. I would really like that story to progress. I think it's a bullshittery series that will only really be complete when it's a series that you can sit down and watch end to end. Um, so for that reason, I probably will focus on it a bit more this year. Um, yeah, so just really, really need to push on with those episodes. So I moved the footage over last night. Oh, pardon me. And I returned the Rising Storm footage back onto the... Sorry, when I say move over, onto a storage device, like a... Like a low speed, uh, like a, a high volume, low speed storage device. Um, yeah, so that's all done. So that's nice. Um, I'll be making, yeah, so just going to crack on today and we'll do my best. Although um, I can't start immediately. I've got a favor to complete first. Uh, uh, somebody wanted a stream overlay animated. So I've just got to, just got to finish that first. It should only take me today. So um, yeah. Right. Oh, thank you, um, Blurple, Zello Silver, The Rock Type, Devious, Stormy, Shadow Hunter, and The Legend of Mars. Thank you, all of you folks. Oh, and best user and all for the game. Thank you. Right. So, for those joining then who aren't familiar with what's going on, welcome to Outer Wilds. The game is actually pretty damn good. I've, I've been very impressed so far. It is a story mystery game in which we play as a young Harthian, so a member of a, a four-eyed race that come from the world of Timber Hearth. So we are jetting off as, it's, as an astronaut that's going to be part of Outer Wilds Ventures. One minute. So effectively a space program that they're running in their forest world. One second. Now the game is a Groundhog Day style situation. We're stuck in a time loop. Every time the time loop resets itself, every 22 minutes, we wake up next to that campfire. And the reason we keep waking up there is because we fiddled with an a piece of alien technology. Quite a lot of it is on board this ship. So we're stealing alien technology. It seems that our planet was polluted uh, when an ancient alien race called the Nomai settled in this solar system. One second. So even though we've built much of this ourselves, uh, quite a lot of their technology has been incorporated. Anyway, I ended up fiddling with a statue, which in turn did something to me. Every 22 minutes, my memories are reset and I, my position is reset. We go back in time and it's been happening many, many loops now, all the way back to this campfire just before I go on my first ever space journey. Now, the reason it's 22 minutes is because that's when the star explodes. Our sun goes boom. It goes nova. And we just wake... Well, I'm, I'm one of the few who seems to be aware of it. There's at least two others. One is Gabbro, another astronaut who I bumped into on the planet of Giant's Deep. Ooh. He seems to be aware of it because he also fiddled with one of the Namai statues. Uh, one minute, I'm going somewhere specific. Hang on. Uh, and there's one third statue that's been activated, but I'm not entirely sure who's activated it. So someone else is aware of the time loop problem. Now, the whole game is about trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with this sun. Why is it exploding? And we figured out a few different things. One second. I'm looking for... Oh, did I just fly past it? There's a mine that's here. I'm, I just want to go into the mine once more. This is it. So, uh, the ancient aliens, this is one of their sigils, one of their transportation platforms that lets them fast travel around the solar system. Hang on. Oops, I need my jetpack. I can breathe here, but I need my jetpack. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Um... 
So yes, uh, I just want to go down the mine to have a look at one of their projection pools, which is a type of uh, visualization, te it's like hologram technology. They can see other locations through the pools. Now, we're stuck in this time loop trying to figure out why the fuck the sun keeps exploding. We've learned a few different things. The aliens didn't arrive here. They're a mi well, they, sorry, they didn't evolve here. They're a migrating species that came to this solar system following a mysterious signal, the purpose of which is still unknown. They've dubbed the signal the Eye of the Universe, and they still don't know what it is. Uh, they built a probe launcher, presumably to try and find it, and the probe keeps launching every reset. You just saw it there, up in the sky. Hang on. So they were searching for some sort of mysterious signal, the purpose which is unknown, but they arrived here in a vessel, like a massive mothership, which encountered some trouble because it looks like it got tangled up in some sort of, well, thorny construction. One moment. It's represented by these glyphs that I found in one of their cities. Their vessel encountered, well, the, the wording specifically was that it was mortally wounded, whatever that means. Hang on. So this is one of their mine complexes. You can find that they died in place. Look, their bodies are all over the place of the Namai. Okay, so hang on. Um... Anyway, so they arrived here in their vessel, and they launched escape pods to, to get away from it. One of the escape pods went to the Ash Twins, which is the, the, the closest planet to the sun. Uh, another one landed on Brittle Hollow, which is the accretion disk of a black hole. And the third one did not escape. It landed on the world of Dark Bramble, or rather was trapped there. So, was Dark Bramble the thing that trapped the vessel? Presumably, but why? What is Dark Bramble? That's what I hope to figure out today. We're going to Dark Bramble. Okay. So. This symbol represents the Ash Twins, the two central planets closest to the sun. This is the projection pool that lets you transmit from Timber Hearth, that symbol there, to the Ash Twins. Now this is what I saw before. These devices, I presume, are the storage devices, the repositories that are being utilized in order to send memories back to an ind individual when they die. Since three are lit up, I presume that three statues have been fiddled with. These two must be me and Gabro. The third one, I have no idea. We're in some sort of... So is this the center of the Ash Twin project? Strange. Almost looks like we're on... Like we're inside a black hole, almost. The way the stars are twisting. So this is a physical location. We're seeing it. I initially suspected that we were looking at AI. That perhaps those were constructs that were aware of our presence. Now they seem to be storage devices for memories, I think at least. Also, I've noticed something peculiar when I was thinking about this earlier. Most of the Nomai are wandering around without, say, decorative jewellery or anything. But um, we found a few of them on the on the, the project, so the Ash Twins project, its purpose is currently unknown, with masks on their heads. I'm starting to wonder if maybe the masks were more like, I don't know, like exosuits that they were utilising. Maybe the Namai that were wandering around were, I don't know, not part of it, or not privy to it? Hang on. As in, I didn't realise that these masks were physically worn on their heads, and yet only a handful of them, and only at the Ash Twins. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ow. I'm okay. Uh-oh. Ghost matter? Really? Where? Uh... Oh, I'm standing in it. Uh-oh. Well, I nearly died! <laughs> okay. Whoops! What 
Thank you, Sway and Archeon. Thank you very much, Sway and Archeon. So anyway, uh, it's still not clear what exactly the Ash Twin project is. I initially thought that perhaps it was like a memory repository, like a way of um, of of sending memories to to a place where they could perhaps survive the end of the universe. One minute, sorry. Is my health low? Not sure. Oh yeah, there we go. I also have another theory. I just want to check. So this is, as far as I've been able to term it, yes, it does have one. Okay. Interesting. So that is a small white hole. It's, uh, it's a power source that the, so from, uh, yeah, sorry, there's quite a bit to unravel. Basically, I, I went to a high energy lab uh, on the same planet as the Ash Twins project, the Hourglass Twins, which are, listen for the drums. I wonder if they were moving mass to and from the planets as part of their project. I presumed it was just ore, right? What if it wasn't? One second. I just want to see. So there's the Ash Twins. One of them is rotating. So you, you see that? You see its equator? Each individual tower lines up with a world. I wonder if the tower is going to activate the moment that this device is lined up with it. And if it does, see those towers? That one there? So which, that's the, I can tell by the shape. Hang on. So that's, that one's ours. You see that one? That's our planet. So when it points at us, will this be teleported? Here we go. Or is it one way? Is it from one way to the other? Okay, guess not. Or maybe it's not activated. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, we don't have long before the star goes. So, for those joining the stream, in short, I'm an explorer part of the Harthian race. So like a, we're basically Mudarkans. We're similar to the Mudarkans from uh, Abe's Odyssey. And we're exploring the ruins of ancient aliens. Let's go to what I presume is the wreck of their vessel. So up in space we go. Hello. Right. Can I match the sun's velocity so I don't fall into it? Smacked by a planet, though. I best be careful. Okay. So, where is Dark Bramble? There it is. Dark Bramble. Engage autopilot. Here we go. Checking map. Are we going to smack into the sun? Nope, we should come close to it. In fact, we might smack into Timberhearth if we're not careful. Uh. Okay, so... This planet, according to, I think it was Chert, one of our explorers... Whoa. He said that this planet was originally a different planet that was broken apart by that. Whoa. Almost like a, a central seed has grown, stretching its roots up into the crust of the planet, forcing the whole thing apart? We found pieces of this planet all over. I initially theorized that the pieces were part of a protective shell, keeping it in. As in, the Ash Twins project was like a containment thing that failed. I guess not. It's ice. So this is Dark Bramble. One second. Okay. So. There's a harmonica coming from the center. Now, we found... 
we found that a harmonica was coming from a piece of the dark bramble. And Feldspar, so one of our, one of the astronauts, the first astronaut, was heading here before we lost contact with him. That's a good sign. So at least he's playing the harmonica wherever he is. What is that? bigger on the inside. Similar red light to the one that I saw in the center of Giant's Deep. And white lights. Could these be the anglerfish? We found fossils with something similar, didn't we? Scout launcher. Whoa. of a root system? Let's travel to the closest one. Oh, no, I've got a better idea. Stand by. Did the third Nomai vessel crash in here? Distress beacon detected. Stand by. There. Let's go there first. So... The escape pods that we found on Brittle Hollow also had graffiti, or rather the city near the escape pod. And that graffiti was one of mourning. It was someone who was mourning the loss of their mate. So I can presume that the escape craft that was here, or well, that they never made contact with them. Okay, this place is pretty disorientating. Could this be why the vessel encountered such a malfunction? It found itself trapped in this maze? Keep travelling towards the Namai beacon. We're looking for a blue light that will be shining up into the sky? Question mark? There. It's impaled by one of the thorns. Come round to the front. Where is 
towards the front. There it is, that's the bridge. Damn, I don't have long. A few moments at best. The star is about to go Nova. The beacon drifting. Unidentified signal nearby. Presumably that's the beacon. Seca, our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We held out as long as we could here, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, await rescue. Seca, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here, quickly. Escape pod beacon identified. That's it. The star just went supernova. Okay. for it. Our memories are then downloaded or returned to us rather by this mask. It plays them back and then time resets. So the other part of the puzzle for the people that didn't catch the prior VODs is that during their exploration, particularly using their transport system, they discovered weirdly that the, the laws of causality were being broken. They'd accidentally discovered time travel. There goes another probe, that direction that time. There was then a request being made by the observatory that was looking for the probe to extend the time travel experiment to be 22 minutes, which is the exact time of the loop. The purpose of the Ash Twin project I, orig I originally thought would have been to preserve memories, but now I'm starting to wonder if its entire purpose is to re reset time every 22 minutes to the point that they can have a better chance of using that probe to find the eye of the universe, whatever the hell that is. For the chances of launching the probe in the correct direction, they say, were just so incredibly small that it would take forever. So what if they gave themselves forever? It's more concerning because the readings that Chert has made, so the drummer Chert aboard the Hourglass Twins, so one of the astronauts, he's determined that the stars around us are exploding. They're going supernova, just like our one. So have we been stuck in a time loop for, Jesus, millions upon millions of years? Did they accidentally leave the stove on, in a way? Just leave this solar system continually resetting time? We'll find out. Quantum fluctuations. Stand by. Whoa, slow down. Okay, back to the distress beacon. So the area inside the planetoid is much larger. Thank you, DGE, thank you very much. I wonder what the red light is.
It's even subdivided once inside as well. Is this natural or artificial? the internal organs of this thing? Damn, I'm lost again. That way. The lights. They left the trail to follow. Was there anything else in here that we could read? What about the central computer? What did it read? The other computers on the other lifeboats read the local environment and determined that it was either hospitable or inhospitable. What does it say here? Begin flight log. Escape pod 3. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Now launching escape pod 3. Multiple collisions have altered pod's trajectory. Because significant damage to pod detected. Navigation error. Life support error. Propulsion error. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Gravity not detected. Breathable air not detected. Multiple life forms detected. Potentially hostile. Verdict. Do not exit pod. Din. There's a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree. But the beacons are exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if we had more time... We're nearly out of time already. Din, the vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone, and we will be lost. We will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the father of the two beacons, Din. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. They didn't leave out the back, at least. Opening the back door. They went that way. The vessel signal. What did they mean? It must have faded by now. They were trying to get back to their main ship. Let's get back in our, our ship. And keep heading that way. Intrigued by the red light that seems to be in the center there. I saw something similar on the world of Giant's Deep. Deep beneath its ocean, an ominous red light which reacted angrily when I tried to fire a probe into it. Let's continue. Thank you, Sherlock and H20. Thank you very much. And DGE. Thank you, DGE. Thank you, H20 Show, for the sub bomb there. What a 
am I looking at? It's another one of those central petals, like the one that we saw Tektite back on Timber Hearth was investigating it. One second. Whoops. What am I looking at? Oh god. Oh god, no. I know what I'm looking at. But why? Their bodies, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The survivors from the pod. They were wearing those suits, wearing those masks. But why gather around it? Were they collected? of the Nomai. This thing was giving off the signal to their vessel. Anyone who comes here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now we can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed, yet the opening is too small for even the si a single Nomai to fit through it, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still so far is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon we will be, we'll, we'll be, we will be unable to hear it. There is nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside, or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. They did. So they are spacesuits. They didn't manufacture them as part of the Ash Twin project. All of them wear them. Their own version of them. Stand by. Error. Duplicated signal. In the center of that red dot? Another no my, a dead body. What 
is that? That's the vessel itself, isn't it? I see. So the vessel is somewhere else. And this thing was just broadcasting the signal through it. A similar thing was happening on Timber Hearth. One of these seeds had taken root in a crater. So that means that... No. Strange. I expected to hear a harmonica. I expected that... Feldspar would be... Aboard the vessel. The fuck is this thing, though? Okay, well, one of my theories is seemingly shot in that I figured that this thorny thing would be something that they brought with them through warp travel or something, but they clearly got trapped here. They have no idea what this thing is. It didn't come with them, is my point. The red light, the vessel? There, that thing. Is that their vessel? It doesn't look like the uh, hieroglyphics. Maybe. What happens if we travel this way? So this must have been the further signal, I see. When they said that they were following a duplicate signal, that's what they meant. The further one. Is this the creature's heart? Shit. Whoa, okay. Hello. Hello. There's something alive in here. Hi. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, we're not going in there. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. I'm staying out here. Wait a minute. What? <coughs> okay. Um... I, I don't want to be its friend, Beamer. I'm I'm quite happy. My 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 friend roster is full right now. So those things are still alive. I found fossils of those all over the place. Of course, there was one in the museum, wasn't there? Do you remember? Apparently, when someone flew too close to this planet, a small anglerfish was attached to the landing gear of one of the craft brought back to Timber Hearth. Oh, Christ, does this mean some of the white dots are, in fact, anglerfish? Oh, God. I hear one. You hear that? game is really clever. Holy shit. Okay, hang on. Feldspar. 600 meters this way. Is he alive? He's playing the harmonica. Through 
300 meters. Damn. Another one of those central seeds. Stand by. Duplicate signal. Inside an anglerfish fossil. Another seed? That's a. Is that a tree? Is that a campfire? Is he okay? Is he okay? I think that's a campfire. He's that way. Four hundred meters. There it is. That's what we kept seeing. Through Tektite's crater. Feldspar. I meant to do that. The first Harthian astronaut. Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's ever come in here. Well, ever, actually. That makes you the second Harthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done! Say, it's you! They made you an astronaut? And you haven't blown yourself up yet? Good for you! What the fuck? You're alive! Feldspar, you're alive! Ah, you never were the brightest hatchling, were you? <laughs> yes, that's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, you know, crashed violently. Wait, what? Oh, this is a good story. I'd just finished exploring the core of Giant Steep. I needed a new challenge, and none of us had ever been inside Dark Bramble. So I think, hey, let's give it a try. I'd been cruising around for a while, dodging the odd massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, when I run into this huge anglerfish, biggest I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off, nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when a th when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine and, uh, like I said, uh, I crash, blammo. On impact, my ship started making noises that it's coming apart from the inside, and I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor, fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found the skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So, I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seed. Been here ever since. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchling. 
Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. I think we are in a minute, Feldspar. Um, shit, I've got much to talk to you about. Uh, where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anyway, it's good, but you should know that space is weird here, intensely. Ever tried throwing your scout into one of those weird seeds? See there, with the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your scout tracker will tell you that the scout is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly, because space doesn't work right in here. That seed looks small, see, but inside, it's bigger. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep in mind that while you explore Dark Bramble, and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. What? Hey, Hatchling. Pull up a marshmallow stick. Come to hear tales of my heroic exploits, have you? <laughs> um, you reached the core of Giant's Deep? How did you do that? Giant's Deep core, huh? Ah, well, that was a wild one. But since you're asking, I oh shit. I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Quick, 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 identify a signal. Wait, so he's not aware? He's not aware? Does he know what's happening? I need to check it out. I don't think he's aware. Interesting. If he's not aware that we're stuck in a time loop, then he is not the wearer of the third mask. In a not literal sense. Interesting. Very interesting. Wake up. Okay. We'll get back there quickly. We'll talk to him again. At least he's okay. I was worried. Holy shit. One minute. I have something incredibly important I must do. One, there is a sleeping dog. And two, I must empty my bladder. I have an old man's bladder. I need to go take a wee. Back in a second. Get a pint of water. One minute. Okay. <clears throat> cool. So, for the people just joining the stream, I hope you're having a nice day today. Uh, in short, please know that I'll be getting on with the next bullshittery today. Well, soon. Uh, in the form of Divinity Bullshittery Part 3. As for right now, welcome to Outer Wilds. The game is a story mystery game which involves a young astronaut from the planet Timberhalf, this planet, who is stuck in a Groundhog Day style time loop. We're exploring the ruins of some ancient aliens which launched from a mothership called the Vessel that was passing through here following a signal. Three escape pods were launched. Two of them landed and created their own 
sort of civilization city things where they got to work on a couple of different projects. One project was some sort of time reset system, which I presume I'm stuck in. We can presume it's the probable cause of this time dilation, well, this time resetting problem. The other civilization got to work trying to find the source of the mysterious signal that drew them here. So, the, the two other pods. The third one appeared to have been tangled up in the same horror that took over the vessel. This thorny thing which trapped them. It's doing something weird, if you didn't see a minute ago. So, the core of this planet, formerly this planet, appears to be some mass of roots and thorns and seeds. It appears to be compressing space? Flying into its core, well, reveals a much larger area on the other side. Sorry, I travelled way too quickly. It's like a TARDIS plant. There we go. So, we're going to go back inside Dark Bramble and continue searching for the Nomai vessel itself and also talk to one of the, well, the first Harthian astronaut, Feldspar. So here we go. So inside here, time, uh, space goes weird on me. So time stays the same. Where is he? Okay. So he's through this one here. Thank you, Grim Jojo. Thank you very much, Grim. The space appears to be spinning? What's that about? It was just an effect. So we're inside that root system, space being much larger in here. Or maybe we're being compressed down. I don't know. He said interdimensional? Drat. Okay, so we're following the wrong signal. Stand by. Missed. There we go. He's that way. Through this one. God damn, it is a maze. Okay, as quickly as we can. There he is. I wonder what that blue light is. Whoa, where'd you come from? No one's come here since, well, ever, actually. That makes you the second half of ever. Say, it's you! They made you an astronaut! Okay, let me guess. Anglerfish. Hey, you got it in one. Kind of hard not to. Once you've seen one of those fish up close and personal like, well, take a load off and refill your oxygen tank, hatchling. There's plenty of fire to go around. Anything else you want? You reach the core of Giant's Deep. How did you do it? Giant's Deep Core, huh? <laughs> that was a wild one. Well, since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kinda feels like cheating. Hmm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into, yep. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. 
You want to get to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. What does he mean? Strange. Okay. Where's your ship? Not far from here, as a matter of fact. It, if you go straight past the tail of this anglerfish skeleton here, you'll see a flickering light in the fog. Follow that. You'll find my old ship. What's left of it, anyway. What happened to this anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? Yeah, it was like this one I got here. As near as I can tell, this anglerfish m must have been chewing on the vine and eaten a seed. And then when that seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach until, well, this happened. Gross, huh? This skeleton was a good find. Keeps the fish away. See, they're territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. Shouldn't I tell ground control to come and get you? Well, yeah, sure. Whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. It's quiet. It's pe peacefulish. Hmm. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. It'd be nice to have a break. <laughs> I like the Hearthians. Nothing phases them. Stuck in the bones of an, enorm an enormous anglerfish? Not sure when you're going to get home? Yeah, who cares? Roast a marshmallow. Play the harmonica. Mm. For those just joining, I've bought two separate bags of marshmallows over the last few days. This game is bad for my waistline. Again, sponsored by Big Marshmallow. I have no doubt. Okay. Ooh, shit the bed. Accidentally moved too far away from that anti-gravity device. <sighs> so what's he on about? So this seed, so yeah, this angle... Okay, so it's not as terrifying as I initially thought. So despite this seed doing bizarre stuff to space-time, there's just a normal ecosystem in here. The anglerfish aren't like demons or some shit. They're just, they just live here. So they're territorial, are they? Okay. So they leave each other alone. And this one just happened to eat one of these seeds. Maybe they're parasites. Maybe they're eating whatever this thorny thing is. And this one just got unfortunate enough to eat this thing. Okay. Whoops. So does this fly straight back out the other side? Hmm. Piss. Wait, duplicate signal? Weird. So what did he say about going down the tail of the anglerfish? Looking at the blue light? He said hollow tail, didn't he? Is there a path that I should be following? Yeah, the flickering light. How far is the flickering light? Don't want to go too far without my ship. Oh, I see. That's his ship. Maybe the flickering light is just... is literally his ship. Hang on. So he's not too far from it then. Let me just get my ship back. Okay. So this big anglerfish managed to get itself killed by eating one of the seeds. No, he said, follow the path. It starts at the tail.
Is this giant thorny thing aware? Is it sentient? Oh, what the fuck? Outside again. Okay. Maybe it's a way to get directly to him if we wanted to. Whoa. That's one of the jellyfish that was at the centre of Giant's Deep. same red glow. Play recording. Trip 4, question mark. Entry, uh, I'm going to say not 1. Crashes 3. Boring crashes 0. A personal best. Whoa-hoo! Never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Ugh. This thing tastes terrible. The outside of it was all rubbery and tough. Did you lick it? Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right, I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see what... <laughs> to see if what's in there tastes any better. Dude? Did you really boldly go where no Harthian had gone before just to lick shit? Note to Feldspar, do not eat this, even if you're dying. It would be uh, too sad if this were the last thing you were to, uh, were to ever, sorry, last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. Sorry, he left a note to himself not to eat something. Insulate you from electricity. Okay. So you've got to get inside. There was a jellyfish that was touching the outer core of Giant's Deep. You've got to get inside it as it lowers itself down into the core? Ugh. Feldspar, did you lick the inside? He climbed in there and licked it and then left a note saying don't lick it. Why is it here? Hmm. I did see something that looked like coral in the middle of Giant's Deep. Maybe, I don't know, maybe when this planet broke apart, when whatever, uh, yeah, whatever Dark Bramble is, when it catapulted the pieces out, panspermia, as in life forms sent elsewhere via the pieces? Maybe the core of Giant's Deep now has those jellyfish because they used to be here? I see. This game is great. Holy shit. Back down again. Alright, so we can go back to Giant's Deep where the statues sleep see what's in the core. Deep. Bleh. All right. Thank you, Feldspar. That's most useful. So, what might be in the core? Well, we know that the Nomai were building something. They were attaching something to their probe launcher, and it accidentally fell down into the core of the planet. 
I thought that the electricity was, like, being fired by some sort of controlling AI or something. I keep thinking about AI, mainly because it's kind of weird that a species of the intelligence of the Namai wouldn't have that. Where's he gone? Okay. So, we should go back to Giant's Deep, especially after the next reset. Shouldn't we? Ouch. Hey there, hatchling. Pull up a marshmallow stick. Come to hear tales of my heroic exploits, have you? I found something. Lay it on me, hatchling. I found a frozen jellyfish near your ship. Ah, so the old, the old thing is still there, is it? That's where I first camped out after the crash, you know. It was pretty cozy inside. Oh, I see, you slept inside it. It does lack the structural integrity of the indomitable spirit of the camp made in the shelter of my very of my very bones of the very bones of the species that tried to eat you, I suppose. Still, very cozy. I found something. I found a dark bramble seed back on Timber Half. That's bad business, Hatchling. As Church will tell you, if so much as uh, if so if you so much as glance at sorry, in Dark Bramble's direction. There used to be a fifth planet where Bramble is now. This infernal plant appears at the center and keeps growing and growing and growing until it shattered the, shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be headed towards the same fate. And I'll tell you what, we Hearthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. Shit. I found Nomai writing, saying anglerfish are blind. Ah, so the blasted things do have a weakness. Meaning that my fly as fast as I can approach to dealing with them uh, could have been used a bit more, could have used a bit more thought behind it. Okay. Ah, well, at least they didn't eat me. All's well that ends well, eh, Hatchling? Sorry, read that again. They're blind. They're blind? So how are they finding me? Is it when I use my engines? So if I just drift... Okay. Right. So, we now know how to evade the anglerfish and get inside the center of Giant's Deep. All right. What should we do first? We should go check out Giant's Deep. What do you think? Hmm. Well, he crashed here, Frog. Apparently, yeah. Well, his ship was damaged when an anglerfish cracked it against uh, cra against the root there. Thank you, Necroflesh. Yeah, we don't have much time. Let's just explore a little bit more. Then when the star goes supernova, we'll go and check out Giant's Deep. Let's keep exploring. Stand by. Whoops. Well, at least he's okay. I was worried about him. Distress beacon. So we found all three vessels that belong to the Nomai. Feld Spire is fine. Quantum fluctuations. Stand by. The star's about to go. Okay. No detected quantum fluctuations in this area. Alright. Oops. Right, so... How does one escape this place? Follow the light? No, that's Feldspar's camp, isn't it? Hmm. Pre 
creepy. Oh, is this it? There we go. Just follow the grooves, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> Here goes the star. It's exploding now. There we are. We're out in space. I see. Just follow the grooves on the walls and you can get there. The star explodes. Mostly the view, better call Saul. Thank you, Ancantia and Mr. Nuclear. Thank you very much. Thank you. So for those joining, the game is a story mystery type game, which is quite similar to, say, um, but it's very Abe's Odyssey meets a little big adventure. And what just happened is a time loop. We're stuck in a Groundhog Day-like scenario, and every time we wake up, we look into the sky to see that probe launcher explode, and a single highly advanced probe unit, I think, launched in a random direction. I think we're stuck in a time loop because an ancient alien race we're experimenting with it, A, but also to give them time to launch their probe. They're searching for something that they've dubbed the Eye of the Universe. Whatever that is, is not clear. They don't know themselves. Am I? Right, so let's go not to um, Dark Bramble. This time, let's go back to Giant's Deep where the statues sleep. So, this is the location where the Nomai built these statues that preserve memories. It's also where they built the cannon, the probe cannon. We found its building cradle on the surface. So, it's a manufacturing area, I suppose. It looks like a gas giant, but it's not. We're going to go down to the core. Okay. And see what piece fell off the cannon for the construction yard, notably a an, an ancient nomai called Cassava. Stand by. Says that something fell off the cannon. Whoa, holy moly. Whoa. Something fell off the damn cannon and, and, and sank all the way down to the core. Oh, there goes a piece of the island. Hang on. Gonna come down again or not? <laughs> Guess not. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, wait, different island. Okay. Right, so if we need to get down to the current, then we need to find the tornado that's spinning the. Well, the water spout that's spinning the other way. Uh, was it clockwise or anti clockwise? This one's spinning anti clockwise. Is this our one? This must be it. Here we go. So. Here we go. All right. So, we are down deep beneath the ocean, beneath the current that pushes us away, next to a strange electrical shield. If I fire a probe into it, electricity spikes out, and then the probe is launched away aggressively with the same red light that we previously saw in the middle of Dark Bramble. So, hang on. Is that red light? The indication of... Is a jellyfish beneath the surface about to appear? But last time I touched the jellyfish, it badly damaged the ship. No, no, no it's coming up, see? I see. So the red light indicates where. Oh, 
Oh, hang on. Do I stand on top of the jellyfish? I see no electricity coming from the top of the bell. Only the tentacles? Maybe I physically land the ship on top of it? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Damn. Exit ship to repair electrical systems damage. So what happens now if I float towards it? Does it still react aggressively? Yes, it does. Hmm. Oh, electrical si systems damage. So the ship's okay. It didn't take damage. So I should be okay, maybe, possibly. <laughs> Am I going to die? Here we go. Will I be okay if I touch the jelly? No, no, ouch, ouchy, ouchy. Ah. All right, hang on a minute. Um. Hmm. Whoop. Piss. Maybe I'm thinking about this the wrong way. Maybe I need to go to the dead jelly? No. Exit ship to repair electrical systems damaged. What if it, like, pushes me under? Oh! No, 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 no. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Master alarm. Stop, 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 stop. Hold. Quickly. Fix the damn ship. Fix the damn ship. Fix the damn ship. Electrical systems, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. No, stop going beep, beep, beep. Oh, bugger. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, okay. Right, we're just going to have to do without the ship this one, aren't we? This run. Um, right, so... Oh, you're kidding. Hang on a second. If I touch the central body, am I meant to just evade the tentacles? Maybe? Oh, wow. Really, game? Games developers, great. Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Am I going to be okay? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Okay, we're in. We're in, we're in, we're in. Down we go. Gently, gently. Can't seem to move. There we go. Shh, don't touch him, touch him. Okay, shh, shh, shh. <gasps> whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I looking at? It looks different. It looks almost like coral. What's this? It doesn't look like dark bramble. Oh, it's the piece of the cannon. Okay. I can board it. Stand by. Ah! There's still oxygen in here all this time. Whoa. A projection pool. 
It looks almost like a control station. It doesn't look like a seed from Dark Bramble, does it? It's not spiky, it's smooth. Like a coral. Oh, it's another one of their projection systems. This thing, sorry, not, not a projection system. It will show like a model of the solar system. When this is activated, maybe? Stand by. Giant steep where the statues sleep. The cannon. Firing a probe. Okay. Receiving data from probe. 9,318,089. Visualizing current trajectory of probe 9,318,089. We've been in it for 9,318,000 loops. What the fuck? Twenty two times nine million three hundred eighteen. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hang on. That's two minutes. That's not millions, that's billions. That isn't millions, that's billions. Hang on a second. I don't even have a calculator that goes higher. Is that years or centuries? Chat figured out? Sorry, am I looking at the wrong number? It's 390 years? Am I way off? Are you sure? But this thing says that's the Devonian period, is what I thought. <laughs> that's millions of years ago. Okay, the chat's worked it out faster than I did. Okay. Holy fucking shit, though. Sorry, either way. That means this loop has been going for at least that long, assuming that's just the first data set. And it's going that way. Is that live? It is live. Is it moving? Is it moving? Just my eyes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so hang on. Shit, I accidentally reset it. What's it doing now? New trajectory that way this time. 
Okay. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched 9,318,089. Deep Space Anomaly matching all known criteria for the Eye of the Universe found by probe. Sorry. Deep Space Anomaly matching all known criteria for the Eye of the Universe found by probe. 9,318,089. Oh, hang on. So it found it? It did find it? Is that what it's telling me? Or on that on that single journey, hang on. Found by probe. I see one single probe, not number of times. It found it. So why didn't it stop? I don't know what that is. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. No, my writing? Okay. No, I don't think I've seen these symbols before. Okay. Okay. So it found it did find it. It sent the coordinates. So why did the Namai not do anything? Oh. Okay. Who? 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 The Ash Twin Project from here. One, two, three. Who? Who is number three? This was the statue that is engaged. This is the third statue. So, is it filled spa? He's the only Harthian that made it under here. Or, wait. I've seen these symbols. Whoa, didn't need to do that. That symbol. I see. That is the current transmission location. It's this way round, isn't it? What's on that bench? Launch module, projection stone. I see, this is the other one, isn't it? So there should be, this will give me a view of what's actually up on the, up in orbit. Yeah, okay. The debris from the launch. Don't have long. Mallow, imagine Privet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. Privet, I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once, anyway. So who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integri integrity significantly? 
I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. They knew? The probe tracking module. Is that what I'm on now? That symbol, does this mean the probe tracking module? The launch module? I don't have one of that tablet. I did, I did see a projection stone inside the launch module. I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Rami is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you and the orbital probe cannon well? Privet says we are. The statue here in the probe tracking module... Yeah, so this is the probe tracking module. ...is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other appendage, I'm now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's morale integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the Eye of the Universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Rami. So was Privet the one who initiated the statue? I'm confused as to why this this piece that I'm on didn't fall like a moment ago. This fell this this fell years and years ago. So surely they would have replaced this if this is the probe tracking module, they wouldn't have just left it down here at the bottom of the ocean. Right? They would have just built a new one. Launch module. I need to get aboard this thing and read it. Okay. I'm running out of time. Stand by. I need to get back up into orbit quick. Okay. And the jellyfish. Fuck, this place is creepy. the one. There's nothing else down here. So I still have questions. In, in fact, what, as in what the hell went and killed all of them? And if it is, so it surprises me. 390 years is way lower than I expected. Something doesn't make sense. If it was only 390 years, why are the stars going supernova around us? And if it's only 390 years, why are the Nomai all dead? Is that 
part of the same structure or different? Was this the piece that originally fell down? And that's fresh? I'll find out if I go up to the top platform. Okay. Can I get through this safely or am I going to get zapped? Uh... Ah! No, I got zapped. Fuck. Okay. It shouldn't matter. Should be fine. So with this loop, let me go up to the probe cannon itself and have a look. So is that the reason for their lack of success? Is the fact that the piece that fired fell into the core where it could not be retrieved and therefore they, their, their experiment was a waste of time? There are pieces that don't fit together yet. Yeah. Hang on, so there goes the probe. Let's get up there quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Where is Giant's Deep? There it is. Hello, Quantum Moon. Okay. So... One thing before we do, before we get up to the, uh, before we get up to the wreckage itself to inspect it. One minute. So that is... Just want to do one thing. This is where they built the probe. There was a mural here I want to have a look at. Control module. It's called the control module. Module. Okay. Control module. So did they re did they rebuild it? So that's the one I was on, wasn't it? Okay, let's get up to the cannon. I've got time.
Wait, what's the big one? I can't get near it. The winds are too strong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. The tower. I see. Made to look like a... Of course. It was in front of me the whole time. Made to look like one of the whirlwinds. This is the Ash Twin project, isn't it? Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. to moon. Enter this place without friends. However, these are lessons to learn, sorry, however, these are lessons to learn for yourself. It's not part of the Ashtwin project? Whoa. I thought this was one of the towers that was going to be transmitting mass over to the Ashtwin project. My jetpack doesn't jetpack doesn't work here. Uh Stop it. Oh, piss. Every, is everything quantum in here? God damn it. Seek the wandering arch. And now the platform itself is wandering. Everything's wandering. The tree's wandering. You wandering. No, the light's not wandering. The light is my friend, see? The lights are my friends. So when they discovered that there was something weird going on with the moon, they started using it to stay in touch with other members of the Namai. Oh god. Island Shard. Can you not Stop it. Fuck. Observing a quantum object, 
observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. <sighs> Fucking... Did they build this place just to fuck with people, or what? Fucking... You stay. Stay. Don't... I can't physically get up there, so you better fucking stay. Cunt. Fuck you. Fuck you as well. Oh no, I'm leaving. I'm going to go check the other platform. Back in a second. Bye. Bye. <sighs> and do that thing where I start walking backwards down the stairs. Like getting lower as you go, you know. Ah, fuck. You can suck my dick right about now. Right, you. Ah, I know what you're going to do. You're being observed. See? <laughs> I outsmarted you. Oh. Oh, is that how you... Can you move now? Oh, you can. What the fuck? Bastard stole my scout. You little bastard. Give it back. Twice. Nah. Oh, fuck ass. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Fuck. I'm just gonna keep turning around till you meet then. I'm just gonna spin like this until you appear right here. Any second. Any second now. Fine. Tell you what. See, now I'm observing both those areas. I'm being observed. Damn it. Hang on. Now there, right, 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 right. Okay, so I see that there's an arch over there. Pan back. There's an arch over there. Does this not count, maybe? Okay. Right. N no. Okay. Fuck. Okay, stay. Ah! I hate this tower. I need to keep that one in view.
Chat, is this like super obvious and I'm just like thick? Ugh. Chat says, yeah. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. So hang on, there's the crystal. No, there's the crystal. No, there's the crystal. There's the crystal. There's two crystals. Nope, there's one crystal. One crystal. Fuck. Okay, one crystal. Okay. There's the arch. Losing track of the crystal. Fuck. Hmm. Star's gonna go supernova before I figure this out. Oh, fuck you. There's the arch. There's the arch. So it cannot move while it's being observed. Oh! Does the photo count? If I don't move the photo? I think the photo counts. I figured that it's a photograph. It's not a live feed. It wouldn't... So hang on, if I just... So I can freeze it just by taking a photograph of it? That's a little unexpected. So, just freeze, there we go. Now it can't move. Ah, wait a second. Right, it can't move. Both not moving? Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe I should freeze the gravity crystal? This one's not being observed, if I look away, so why is it m not moving anymore? I'm so confused. Does the... Ouch. Okay. Okay, so it does move. There! Fuck! Don't lose track of it. Don't lose track of it. Okay, fucking hell. <laughs> I feel really smooth brained. I feel no different. Oh. Okay. This is the last one, but we made it harder. Okay.
Oh. Oh, you bastards. Ah. Okay. None on, none on that wall. Okay, these two. Fuck. Ah. Hold on. Nowhere to zoom in. Okay. Freeze it. Damn it, am I out of time already? The star's gonna go. <laughs> no. Ah. Curse you, creepy wall. Me. Ah, I'm still looking at it, I'm still looking at it. Come on, just one more. Are there only two? Is that the trouble? I swear there were three. Damn. Oh, there are only two. Oh shit, I see. Oh god, okay, hang on. Does that mean I need to only look at this one? Okay. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> uh, ah! Fuck you, I'm up, I'm up. Fuck you. Oh no, don't you do. Yes, 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 yes. But I'm out of time. more time the quantum moon we offer our congratulations you, you've learnt the rule of quantum imaging take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage remember the other quantum shards and other lessons to teach our curiosity goes with you on this journey you walk in the footsteps of those who came before you and your path guides those who will follow later a picture of the quantum moon beckoning hands outstretched no I see the base of the tower Okay. So taking a picture of... Yeah, I... Okay. I didn't realise that simply taking a picture would freeze it. Because I figured it's a photograph, it's not a live feed. go. And there's the quantum moon. Alright. So, one last, yeah, one last task to complete, and then I've got to go get on with work. Let's get into the ship, get to the debris from the cannon. Let's go. So, the 
the cannon just launched the probe on journey 3 million whatever. But it's already found the eye of the universe. And did it fail to transmit the data? Or did it transmit the data but no one was left alive to view it? One second. Target the debris. Match its speed. Okay, so these are pieces of the probe cannon. It's missing! go. This is where the probe launched. From these talons it fired. So, that symbol is the control room. That symbol is the probe. So that's the actual data room, isn't it? And it's missing. I see. So that piece of the core that fell down beneath the thing was actually the piece now, right? That just fell down a few seconds ago. I think. Oh damn, that's really badly damaged. There's an external way in though. Unless it's just floating nearby. Hang on. I didn't get a good angle as I came on in. I didn't see it. Here. It would have been here. So either it fell down a moment ago or it fell down like a hundred years ago whenever they first built the cannon. But they never had the ability to record the data coming in. So they are stuck in a time loop. Just endlessly firing the damn cannon. Well that's stupid. The Nehemiah stupid. I'm one to talk. I know, I'm well aware of this. He who just failed the quantum tower challenge. Get inside the control room. Read that data. So what does that show me? Read this first. This is the launch... No, launch module. So no, that's not the one. So the other one is called the launch module. Right. So this is the control module. Giant steep projection stone. Presumably this will show me the, the construction yard. Yeah. Okay. Kasava, I have bad news, Arvins. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Kasava. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they're able to fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow that they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. So that's the same tablet that's back on the 
construction yard pointing out that they could never fire the cannon. Stand by. So we should see what's in the next room. Yeah. So we'll go in there in a minute and see what's going on in here. Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is sending... <laughs> Cassava is sending the last of the cannon's components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. Cassava tells me, uh, sorry, tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see. And am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? Avens. I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Given the orbital probe cannon, all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can. As far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. They were morons. The thought of concluding our elder's curios curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. The Nomai were idiots. There's no two ways about it. They have no idea what the eye is. They started a temporal 22 second loop at the expense of a star, even though that this solar system has life in it. And they exceeded the structural capabilities of this cannon, blowing it up in the process, and either failing to restore its, its probe recording module, or having it fall straight into the so knowing it would blow up, having it fall into Giant Steep with no redundancy? They're morons. Keep exploring. Hang on. What's that? Show me. Incorrect uh, being. No, no, they didn't say the cannon not firing. They said that it couldn't fire because there was a problem with the power. This goes in turn with a different projection tablet, which said that they're going to fire it anyway because it doesn't matter. What with presumably time looping, but they didn't say that. The Ash Twins project. The two towers. The cannon. No, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Tell me you didn't do that. Seven minutes, 33 seconds ago, request a launch probe received from the Ash Twins project. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. Yeah, wild theory. Is the probe manned? The Ash Twin Project, the location where transmissions go back and forth, why would one go here if not for the probe being manned? Why would it come from the Ash Twins Project? No, tell me the probe isn't manned. Tell me it's automated. Probe launched. Cannon comes apart. Structural integrity compromised. Begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Standby. Receiving data from probe. So it was part of the thing on the launch. Two, three. It was here. It broke off. Orbital probe cannon damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. 
Control module intact, no structural damage. Launch module viewpoint window fractured, module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module missing. It fell. It fell into Giant's Deep, and it's been doing that every single loop. It fell into the whirlpool that dragged it under the surface to the core, didn't it? Meaning whoever's aboard that probe, if it is manned, if it is manned, has been stuck in an endless time loop for 390 years, unable to die if it is manned. There's no other reason to receive a message from the Ash Twins project. Show me the first one. Why would it receive a message from the Ash Twins project? Is this why they requested 22 minutes, specifically? Does the orientation matter? No, it's not in line with that tower. The Tower of Timber Hearth. It's just coming from the core. Oh yeah, I've got a horrible feeling that it's manned. Okay, quickly, get out there, get aboard the ship. While there's time. There's still time to save them. If they're not driven insane. Stand by. My fuel is low. Just gonna go and sort that out. Gotta step outside anyway. There's no entrance from the inside. Okay, so let's go check out the final module. Whoop. And... Can I get out this way? Uh, probably not, because the gravity is whatever it is. Holding me down. Okay. So it shattered the <clears throat> the window, the outer window here. Hold here. Velocity match. Oh. It's spinning. That could be a problem. Should be fine. We'll disembark here. me the text. Okay, this should show me the other room where I just was. Yep, we were just here. Uh, same message as we just read before, the last of the cannon components where they agree to intentionally fire it and break the cannon. The probe tracking module projection stone. So this will show me the one that's at the core of Giant's Deep. Here it is. The statue. But what does it say? Imagine Privet, the probe tracking module. Is it Privet? Did she take the journey? I'm honoured and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use too much power. Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once. I would mind, Mallow. Fuck. Okay. So, on this stream, we figured out by going to Dark Bramble, well, we found out that Feldspire is okay, which is good, but we've also figured out a way of getting beneath the central core of Giant's Deep. When we did, we found that 
One of the modules from the cannon that the Nomai launched fell down and has been falling down there, I think, every single loop. That particular module was the one that's supposed to be sending back whether they find the Eye of the Universe. And since it received a signal from the Ash, Tw uh, the Ash Twin project, and there's one final statue that's activated aboard the cannon, I'm starting to wonder if the probe is indeed manned, and the person aboard has been trapped in the loop for almost 400 years. Maybe. For it doesn't appear to be Feldspur who is the final statue avatar or whatever link I don't think the quantum moon has anything to do with it I think it's just a red herring oh okay What? <laughs> that is one funny moon. Okay. Shit. One second. Let me just uh, fly back home. So, I need to wrap up the stream momentarily. Before I do, hang on. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, whoops! <laughs> um, okay, the landing was a bit too. Oh, hang on, what the fuck? I thought we died. I thought when the music cut out, we died. The ship died. Ah, we're fine. Hooray. Oops. Oh, piss. I wanted to read the ship's logs. Oops. We, we will now meditate. Whoopsie. We will now meditate in space. Thinking about how badly I suck at this. Okay. Right, so... The Nomai built themselves a cannon with no contingencies to break the time loop? That still doesn't, ex doesn't explain what happened to all the Nomai. How they all died suddenly in place. There goes the probe. There goes the cannon. Can we even see a piece of it fall, or is that just an oversight? Maybe I was too slow. I'll check next time. Ship's log. Quantum Moon Locator, Escape Pod 3, The Nomai Grave, Feldspar's Camp, Frozen Jellyfish, Probe Tracking Module, The Launch Module, Tower of Quantum Trials, The Probe Cannon Itself, and The Control Module. Okay, so, one second. Quantum Moon, what's this? The Nomai hypothesized that the Quantum Moon may be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanism. There's more to explore. Uh, Tower of Quantum Knowledge... Okay. Escape Pod 3. One of the three Nomai escape pods that crashed in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged. The survivors from Escape Pod 3 detected two distinct beacons from the Vessel, as if it were in two locations at once. So they subsequently went to a place called the Nomai Grave. The survivors from Escape Pod 3 followed one of the two Vessel beacons to a small, dark bramble seed where they could go no further. The Nomai could faintly hear the vessel beacon from within the seed, but the opening was too small for any single Nomai to fit through, much less an escape pod. The vessel's beacon was dying and would soon be gone completely. 
If I launch my scout into the seed, I can take photos of the, an enormous derelict Nomai ship. Was that an Nomai ship? Okay, well, I guess so. The vessel. I launched my scout into the seed at Nomai grave and took photos of an enormous derelict Nomai ship. Okay. The probe cannon. The orbital probe cannon has launched millions of probes. The 9,318,054th probe located a deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe. The statue in the probe tracking module automatically records each probe's trajectory and transmits the data to the Ash Twin project. Oh, wait, am I wrong? The statue in the probe's tracking module automatically records each probe's trajectory. That doesn't match what was read before. It said that the statues activated ne on the nearest life form. Okay. That's why they said step back, because it tracks to the nearest life form. So wait, the statue is not recording anything but the progress of the... of the probe? I found the my coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe. Really? Ah. Yeah, apparently so, Ro. That's a bit disappointing. I thought it was going to have like a tragic... Oh, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed. If that's what... Sorry, forgive me. If that's where the story's going, that's not as interesting as what was in my head. I thought it was going to reveal that one of the, the last Nomai was alive and trapped in a time loop in the probe. Oh, that's, that's, that's boring. Okay, hang on. So the statue is just tracking the data. That's it. And just sending it to the Ash Twin project. Okay. Ah. Mallow argued it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity failed. Okay. The probe successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised. Okay. But we still don't know what the Ash Twin project is. So maybe, I don't know, maybe... Maybe there's still something... Yeah, maybe there's still something interesting going on in the Ash Twin project. Well, we still don't know why they died or why they didn't break it. Um... Okay. Right. Okay, cool. Um, so, what now then? Feldspire is alive. They crashed their ship. Sure. <laughs> He's not eager to return to civilization. They've been enjoying the peace and quiet. Okay. Right. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I'm going to bog off now and get on with work. So, next stream, what we'll do is we will head off well I still need to figure out what the Ash Twin project is exactly so if, if the statue is simply sending data back to it then why didn't it stop effectively why didn't it stop the whole thing was it just because it fell off and it was literally di literally disconnected that doesn't make any sense because the statue should be able to work fine even from giant steep center okay We'll find out. We'll find out what the Ash Twin Project does next time. So, yeah. I'll be back later. i um, going to get on with the next bullshit. Well, not entirely true. I've got to um, finish a favour. So, uh, somebody wants me to edit a stream overlay for them. So, I just need to go finish that. And then I'll get on with Divinity Bullshittery Part 3. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching, folks. Um, thank you, Umpired, Awkward German, Senden, Warren, Punish Monkey, and Claws of Doom. Thank you, all of you. One minute. Let me just have a look and see who's doing what. Okay. Right. Tom. What's Tom doing? Tom is playing... What on earth is that? Okay, Tom is playing some Elden Ring, sitting on what looks like a, a lame donkey. Okay. Right, this is his noble steed, I suppose. Um, I'll leave you in ZF Tom's presence, and uh, he can explain what he's doing. Thank you again, folks. Have a lovely afternoon, and I'm going to go crack on with the editing. Right, yeah, all the best, everyone.